So uh, we're going to replace the popper on a whip. This is a small bull whip, a four foot, little indie. Uh, so this is the handle of the whip, it's the body of the whip, the fall, you can see it attaches there. And the thing that actually is out there breaking the sound barrier for you, that's the popper right there. Now this one is all frayed and worn out, and the more fluffy and blown out it gets, the quieter and quieter the pop, so you need to replace it at some point. Now I'm going to do that right now. It gets so tight on here that you have to cut it off. So you get a knife and cut through, being very careful, cut this ear really point it right at your fingers and try to pull it off. See, I don't have to cut it that much. Now that's the blown out dead one. Now I'll make a new one. You have to use nylon string, fairly thin, double it over. And not everybody uses this technique, but this has worked for me for years, so this is what I do. Double it over like that, cut it, and bite one in, roll it, double it over again, make sure the ends are together, let go, and it twists, gives you a little twist in the popper, tie that off. You have to leave enough up here for it to be popping. It'll look something like that. It's a little bit on the short side, but whatever. I'm not trying to be too exact here. I unwind it a tiny bit, like so. Just like that. Feed it through itself. So I'm just doubling that over. So that's a little loop there. That's the doubled over nylon string. Then I'm putting it back through that. Pull it up really close to the top of the fall and then put it through again. Pull it really tight and there it is. And then if you really want to cinch it up give it a good experimental pop and that'll Tighten it all up. There it is. You're back in business.